you very much for coming, and thank you very much to your parents for extending their bedtime so they could come tonight. Uh, my name is Mr. Arthur, and with my colleague, Ms. Paquette, we uh, are the drama department here at Applewood Yay. Heights. This is our project um, that we've been running for quite a while with the uh, grade 12 class. This year, we actually have a split class, uh, 11 and 12, and we have written this from scratch. Um, this year, we decided to do it a little bit differently. We decided to do a children's uh, play. We do it in conjunction with a playwright, Ms. Paula Wing. Um, and one of the exciting aspects of this one this time is we did field research. So we actually spent an afternoon with uh, two kindergarten classes and did our, our very intense research, asking them to tell us stories and jokes. And you're going to get to hear some of those jokes today. They're good. Um, so thank you very much once again for supporting us. You're actually going to see uh, two small stories uh, here today. And I hope you enjoy A Fearless Nightmare. I must know what night it is. Is it the night before your child's birthday? No. no. Is it the night before you begin potty training? No. no, thank God. Is it the night before tomorrow? Yes, but... But what? Spit it out. I haven't got all year. Isn't every night the night before tomorrow? Stop trying to confuse me. Now tell me, what night before is this? It's the it's night, night before kindergarten. kindergarten. Why didn't you say so? Let me go into my enchanted box and see what I can find. Enchanted box office, sir! Enchanted box office, right here, sir. Lid lifter upper! <laughs> On the double, sir, yes, sir! We must prepare. It's the night before. I got this, I got this. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing? What, look, see, get out of my way, you noob! What's a noob? It means you're new and you gotta watch and learn. Can you hurry this up? We... Uh, you cannot hurry the mighty story keeper. Bad things happen if you hurry me. Or me. Or even me. Don't do it. Be patient. Wait. Is it time now? No! Can you tell me what kindergarten is really like? Well... well. Listen up, 
up, toys. It's now or never. Tomorrow I go to kindergarten and nothing will ever be the same again. You know it, I know it. Recently, we've, we've lost good socks. We've lost great toys. We've even lost the bestest teddy bear many I used to think Granny was very dis, dis, disposing on my toys. But now we know it's not her. It's the stranger in the dark. He took them. He took my toys. And now we have to get them back. Assemble, be brave, fight with honor, keep your powder dry. I'm part of a pair. I have to do with my partner. You have to get him back. Don't worry, Selena. We'll get him back. Cleopatra, put your backpack down. I can't. Why not? I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure. I know you're nervous for kindergarten tomorrow. No, I'm not. I'm not scared of anything. You're amazing. Can I tell you something? I, I'm a little scared. What have you got to be scared about, Granny Granny? Who's going to walk me during the day? Well, maybe I shouldn't go there. I have to find out how to be brave like you are. Oh, it's easy. Just don't be scared. You make it sound so easy. I, I envy you. It's story time, Granny Granny. Goodness, I forgot. All right. Once upon a time, there was a chickadee moon. <laughs> Sock sucking machine? <laughs> I'll never see my darling Selena again. Uh, <laughs> we all miss our owners, but they don't want us anymore. They're all upset with new technology. We'll die in this cave. Oh, speak for yourself. I'll never forget the static as we pulled apart. I screamed, Selena! <laughs> Selena! <laughs> but the dark stranger had me in this grip. Oh, one day I will be shot from a cannon, and I will soar above the cloud. 
and I will see my doubling Jack, and he will see, he'll know I am so much more than just a fessel castel that he should have never slown me in la poubelle. I am not garbage. What about Bibison? You're so fickle, I don't know what he sees in you. You have to come, Edith. I want to show you something. Come on, don't make me mad. I want you right now. I kissed your face. You're filthy. Come on, petal of my flower. Come see. You never take me anywhere. I sweep and I swish and I keep this case spick and span and what do I get? Hurry up, Edith. I need you, Edith. Where are you, Edith? I hate you. <laughs> you can come too. <laughs> Why would I want to come with you? <laughs> Voila, what she always says. So boring, Pushpa, you are so boring. I built something love of my life. Come see. I will see. Wait for me, don't leave me alone. Edith. Meet your destiny, destiny. Meet your Edith. <gasps> Ma vie, mon Dieu. What is it? <laughs> the cannon, of course. Ah, dear oui. Oh, my cannon. Oh, speak to me, you beautiful piece of machinery. Ah, uh, yeah. Hi. <gasps> <laughs> Such a beautiful voice to my setting. Beautiful body. I built it for you. Shh. I want to hear the voice of my destiny. <laughs> so, yeah. What now? Always for Edith. What about me? What have you built for me? I don't have time for your whining right now. Before she came, you loved me. You always wanted me to sweep for you, remember? And then this young feather duster comes along. It's like I don't exist. You don't, not me, my life is here. Oh, my cannon, my destiny, I will never leave you ever. Get me out of here. I've got flying to do. I've got waving to do. 
<laughs> well, I never stole them. They, they just showed up. I showed you love. You showed Edith love. You took my teddy. You left your teddy. I did not. You just tossed him under the bed and never gave him a second thought. He you're... told me all about it when he got here. He was sobbing. You're lying. If I'm lying, how do I know your teddy's name is Clovis? Give it back! He is much happier here. He has friends. And just so you know, I didn't steal him. He ran away from you. Clovis! Being ignored is the worst thing in the world. Take it from me. <laughs> Clovis, please, I need you. He's here, but he doesn't want to come out. Is he mad at me? Well, how would you feel if Clovis just said he didn't want to play with you anymore? You said that, didn't you, Cleopatra? I'm five now. I'm getting older. I thought... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just dumped the guy. It's, it's not like that. Clovis, I didn't realize I... And there you were blaming me, saying that I was at fault when all along... I think an apology might help. What do you think, Bibison? <laughs> Clovis, Cleopatra's sorry. No, silly. You can't apologize for her. You can only apologize for yourself. I'm sorry, Clovis. I'm sorry. For what? Why are you sorry? For not playing with you enough. For not wanting to play with you. You used to take me everywhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for growing up so fast. I felt like you didn't need me anymore. I do. Why do you think I'm here? I want to take you to kindergarten tomorrow. You're in kindergarten? Yeah, tomorrow's the first day. Wow, you are old. I know. Granny Brandy says I'm only getting older. But you will never be as old as her, will you? No, not for a really long time. Don't get all wrinkly, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, will you come with me? Go for it, Chloe. You're swell swell air. Air. We'll, we'll miss you. you. You see what happens when you apologize? You see? <sighs> demons, by the way. I really wanted to fight them. Oh, they, they're on a coffee break right now at the Witch's Cauldron Cafe, just up the trail. They never get my latte right. I have it with soy. I'm lactose intolerant. I have a nut allergy. <laughs> you owl a nut. A complete nut. And by the way, I was stuck in that cannon for six hours and no one will shoot me. <laughs> Are you a friend? Of course. Why? I'm from Paris. Will you be my pals? My very own special pals? Oh, Chante! Baby, say, how do I look? Even more beautiful than before. <laughs> Hola! ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué tal? Gomez! Mi vida! Selena! <laughs> oh, enough of this! Shoot me from the cannon! Edith, angel of my soul! No more lovey-dovey world! Shoot me from the cannon right now! Let's go inside, everybody! Edith's about to... I'm going to fly! I'm going to live my dream! <laughs> I can come too. I can measure the sky. I'll go too. Let me go too. Guys, guys. I've only got room for one. <laughs> Edith is my destiny and I am hers. That's how I made you. Adelzy, bye bye. Bye, Edith. Bye, bye. Edith. Bye. 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 I want you to know you will be my friend forever. Oh, Edith, what will I do without you? Love is everywhere. Right, Pushpa? Everywhere, Vivison. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Pushpa! Have you lost some bristles? Four! <laughs> I've lost four bristles. Well, like, Thanks for noticing. Well, I'd like you as a fuller groom. We should get work on getting you some fresh new bristles. I'd like that. <laughs> Adios! Hasta la vista. Au revoir, Miami! Ready to... Like, stand back. When I blow, I really blow. 
Kindergarten, he's got the night night before nerves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that all the time. <laughs> you have a story, one that might scare him to death. No, what are you? Trust me, you scare him to death, he'll forget about all his worries. I'm an expert, but <laughs> it's your first kid, right? Yeah, but yeah, so take the story. This lift over, can you get the one called the toothbrush monster? Sir, yes, sir. You like jokes? <laughs> How about this one? Knock, knock. Who's there? Strawberry. Oh, I hate this one. <laughs> Strawberry who? Blueberry. <laughs> Can I just have the book? <laughs> Daddy! Come in, Naveen. Don't get out of bed. Hurry, I'm alone. You're not alone. You have your monkey. Won't this take a long time to read? Will you just trust me? Go! Oh my god. I didn't do anything. Take him. He's the one who. Take Timmy. Take 
it's Tatha, but she's older. Oh, wait, my kid. I have 20 20 vision, you little know it all! <laughs> I'm calling mommy! Your mommy will never hear you again, she's toast! Mommy! Mommy, save us! You're lying! And your fingernails are gross. You want to talk? What about your teeth? I brushed them, I swear! It was Timmy! I brushed them, I did, I swear I did! My scandal blasphemy! <laughs> blasphemy? Who's that? It's something really bad. <laughs> you don't know what it means, do you? Of course I do! I don't have nosy little girls on my secrets. I don't like the two colors of the toothpaste. They freak me out. Don't <laughs> mock my designs! People who mock my designs lose all their teeth and have to eat broccoli for the rest of their lives. Yeah, I hate broccoli. It's like eating a really nice little treat for no reason at all. And it tastes like dirt. Add glue. Mix together. Oh. Now you'll feel my wrath. Watch out for his bristles! Don't scrub me, I don't want to be scrubbed! You're like a cavity! You're like a terrible absence of toothiness! You don't deserve to be tooth creatures! I should rip the molars out of your mouth! I should tear the canines out of your cheeks! I should- You should watch your language. Threats are not a good- Stop thing. flapping your guns! <laughs> Please, we'll brush. We swear we will. Please. It's too late for that now, little boy. Far too late! Now I'm going to curse you! Do you hear me? Curse you! Wait. You're cursing him, right? Not me? Because I always brush my teeth. If you I'm say gonna... one more word, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> you hit me like real bad. Ah! <laughs> That's it. You're both cursed. Oh, but wait, I, 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 I didn't Oh my god. You're in my tooth. My first tooth. Hey, that's mine. Give it back. Never. <laughs> Everything you eat for the rest of your life will taste like broccoli. Ah! 
<laughs> what are we gonna do? We're gonna starve to death. This is all your fault. <laughs> What's wrong with me? You want me to stop reading? You want me to tell a different story? No, this one. This one. Keep going. I love kindergarten. It's really fun. So keep the story. <laughs> But I feel that you're keeping something from me. I have no secrets! Does the word broccoli mean anything to you? Uh, broccoli, I, I love broccoli. It has so many nutrients, and I'm all about good health. And broccoli's good, real good. Mm. <laughs> Eat it. Uh, I'm actually pretty full. I had some before I got here. I stopped at the farmer's market. One bite. That's all I'm asking. Prove to me how much you love broccoli. You don't trust me? Should I trust you? It's an air, Elton! Behind me! Everyone's dying! But if you're innocent, then you have nothing to be worried about. You're under arrest for tooth abduction in the first degree. It's toothbrush prison for you, buddy. I didn't do it! <laughs> Did he do it? While all certified teeth are property of the National Tooth Association, section 12, paragraph 5, line 6 of the Fair Code of Conduct, rich teeth can only be harvested by tooth technicians to be deposited in World Tooth Stockpile. We do not tell a tooth fraud. <laughs> give back the tooth. I'll put in a good word for you. Give me the tooth or put you in dental floss cuffs. He has to say sorry. He called me ugly. Hey, I was young for the time. I did not mean to hurt you. <laughs> I'm rich! <laughs> what about me? I was robbed. Settle down, I'm getting 
hate everybody. Uh, I'd say a loony, but you know what? Uh, I like you, so for your mental anguish. Kenny? Swear, if you dare, if you ever call me off one more time, <laughs> it's the one thing done. But you know what? I like you, so here you go. <laughs> Thank you. You're very beautiful. I know. <laughs> <laughs> always forgotten, always left behind, always... Winding! Let's see what I got here. This is extremely powerful fairy dust. One shot of this and I'll send you straight back to fairy school to finish. You need it? Do you really need it? Well, uh, all I need is uh, any good fairy dust tosses out here, anybody? You right there. Come on, you. What's your name? Ariel. Come on. Go ahead, come over here. <laughs> don't stand. You fairy, don't fidget. Okay, I will be the best fairy you will ever know. You both regret this. All right, on the count of three, we're gonna blow this out. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Ever after. Wait, no, they didn't. Yes, they did. It says so in the book, right here. <laughs> what about the broccoli first? That. That ended. When? How? Uh, it doesn't say. Well, if I don't know, then I can't go to sleep. And if I can't go to sleep, you can't go to sleep. And if neither of us can go to sleep, I can't go to kindergarten. You know what you mean? <laughs> Hold on, all right? Just hang on. Hey, where are you going? What is it? I'm busy. It's the broccoli curse. I don't have that page. Do you have any idea how many kids are going to kindergarten tomorrow? <laughs> I'm swamped. The enchanted box is on overload. Yeah, my arms hurt from lifting up the lid. I need to lie down. It's Naveen. He won't go to bed if he doesn't know how it's solved. Use your imagination. <laughs> Make something up. I'm so tired. Do you have to go to kindergarten for the first time tomorrow? Did somebody pull out your tooth with a piece of string? Does everything you eat taste like broccoli? <laughs> no, then suck it up! Dad, I was thinking, maybe, maybe the curse got lifted when the toothbrush monster got sent back to fairy school. You have a very good imagination, Naveen. Or, or maybe, um, maybe when he got sent back, he learned how to take it off. That's possible too. Or, or maybe, um, maybe, maybe it's time for bed. Do they tell stories in kindergarten? All the time, I think. They sing songs and they color. What else do you do in kindergarten? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> color. So will you take me there, Dad? Sure. We'll go with Mommy tomorrow. Okay. I'll try. Good night. Good night, Dad. Love you. I love you, too.
so much. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, um, what I failed to mention at the beginning, too, is you are our first run at this. This is the first time. Um, and what we're gearing up for is next week on Tuesday, we're going to have a room full of about 180 uh, grade one and kindergarten kids in here to see this. So thank you very much. Any feedback uh, from you, uh, big or small, we are more than ready to hear it. So thank you very much for coming out tonight and have a good evening. Thank you.